So the big question in this big battle of shocking rockers leads right front to the flashpoint. Taylor versus Mayer versus Rhymes. Which rocker shocked you the most? With me right now from Miami, Eugene Ramirez, who's an entertainment journalist, and here in Hollywood, Tanika Ray, who's also an entertainment journalist. Okay, Eugene, Tanika, I gotta say, with John Mayer, I almost expect him to overshare his personal life with us because he is notorious for that. But Tanika, I think he should have stopped short at divulging sexual details about his relationship with Jessica Simpson. And saying the N-word, that's unacceptable. Yeah, exactly. But here's what it comes down to. He's always been a D-bag, that's the theme of the show today. And I think his D-bag crown is a leftover from 2009. So it's not a shocker exactly what you said. So I knocked him out of the running. Then there are some issues with Taylor Swift, but it's still PG-13 kind of, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's lashing out at boys that have done wrong to her. Not that shocking, but Leanne Rhymes. All right, we'll get to her. Save that for a second. Girl. Yeah, I know. We'll get, we'll get to that. I feel strongly about that one, too. But I do want to talk about John Mayer for a second more because I hope for his sake that, it, that he learns to be a little bit more sensitive so that women won't pick up and run for the hills when they see him coming. And you know, some of our Showbiz Tonight Facebook fans agreed with us on that point. Callie from Texas wrote this on our Facebook wall. Check it out. I picked John Mayer because not only is he both the absolute worst example of a boyfriend, he's also a big time blabbermouth. Eugene, let me ask you this. As a guy, would you follow the John Mayer formula for being a, a, a good boyfriend? Be careful. <laughs> Listen, I, I'll tell Tread you what. Lightly, Girls careful. love a bad boy. Girls love a bad boy, and we all know that that's what John Mayer is, and that's part of his appeal. He is a wolf in sheep's clothing, and the girls are digging it. Nobody's I running away from this guy. Should he have uh, said the, the N-word in that same interview? Absolutely not. That was completely uncalled for. But about the sex, uh, sex capades of John Mayer and his significant others, all guys brag about getting laid. What's so different about John Mayer doing it? Not to Playboy magazine. I guess that's the big difference. Not in public <laughs> like that. I think John Mayer has, has potential, and he's learning the hard way. He needs to kind of watch Shut what up. he says. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we did also get a ton of Facebook comments about none other than Leanne Rimes. Um, I want to take another look at that ABC interview where Leanne equated her affair with Eddie Cibrian to so many other people out there unhappy in their marriages. It Watch. happens every day to so many people. You had two couples whose marriages didn't work, who s really stumbled upon each other and fell in love. And never, ever was I thinking of hurting someone. Really? Tanika, she seems so blasé about the whole thing in that yeah. interview, and she never apologized for what she did. She just uh, tried to justify it, really. Do you think that's what ticked people off the I, most? I do, but this is what happens with people when they want to justify it for themselves and they want to soothe their own guilt. They find any way they can to make it sound okay, and I think that's what we're dealing with right here. Remember, she's really young. She was emancipated from her parents really young. Mm -hmm. She married at a very, very young age, and I think her sensitivity chip is a little off kilter. And as far as it's, we're all concerned, it looks gross from our perspective. We don't know what position they're marriages were in when they found each other and I'm a, such a fan of love if you can find it go for it just unfortunately people got hurt in the long oh, run and man, I think she was a little off, off it was site a terrible way to do it well yeah. our show is tonight Facebook wall exploded with comments about Leanne to Grace M wrote this on our wall there is no defending having a having an affair with a married man especially when she is married to shame on her I thought she was better than that. Um, I think what Leanne did was the most shocking yes. out of all of these. But Eugene, to the showbiz flashpoint, which rocker shocked you the most? I gotta agree with Leanne Rhymes. You know, this is a girl who is as American as apple pie, a country music star. Absolutely. She's blonde, she's pretty, she's America's sweetheart. And then not only is she unfaithful, but she's a homewrecker. And wait, there's more. Then she's indiscreet about it. And you know that if you're a good mm. American girl, you have to be discreet about your indiscretions, something that she definitely <laughs> was not. To go on Shape Magazine, to go on Shape Magazine and go ahead yeah. and say, call yourself a husband stealer? What are you thinking? This is this That's is definitely bold. the most yeah. shocking rock of them all right shocked here. Shocked you the most quickly. A hundred percent, definitely Leanne Rhymes. But here's the thing: she got that hot man now, so she's like, screw <laughs> everybody else out there. I got myself a hot man. man. As we were watching, Tanika kept saying, Yum. "Well, he is pretty hot." Yum. All right, Eugene Ramirez, Tanika Ray, thank you both. All right, I want to show you something.